Welcome to day three of the five days of rest miss. For today's supported twist practice, we'll just need a blanket and I'm using two bed pillows or if you have a bolster, that would work just fine as well. So let's begin with a little bit of movement to get into our bodies. So we'll meet on all fours. It might feel nice to place that blanket underneath your knees. And I'm just going to scoot back a little bit away from my pillow so I've got some room to move here. So hands under the shoulder, knees under the hips, finding a nice long spine. From here, let's take a breath in together as we sink the belly and gently lift the heart forward. Be careful not to pull the head too far back here, so taking care through your neck. And as you exhale, gently gather the belly to your back, rounding into a cat curl. As you inhale, feel that wave of your breath come up the spine. Heart looks forward. Exhale, tuck and round down your spine, ah, opening across the back body. And just moving between those two positions a few more times, finding a little suppleness in your spine. If it's feeling stiffer, if your back is feeling tighter, take your time. Winding any stress or tension of the day. Let's meet back in center again with a nice long spine. And from here, we're gonna make a C curve to the side. So hip and shoulder are pressing towards each other. So you're contracting through one side of your body and stretching through the other. And then lengthen back to center. And find that C curve to the other side. Hip and shoulder press gently towards each other. And then inhale, lengthen back through center. And again, exhale to the Side, think, draw the waist in. Inhale, feel all that lovely length coming back through center. Exhale to the other side. Good, once more each way. Nice and easy, exhaling into that C curve of the spine, inhaling back through center, last side. Good, coming back through center and round back up into your cat curl. From here, we're gonna find a little scooping out of the honey jars. So scooping the ribs to one side, scooping your belly down towards the floor. Continue scooping around to the other side and rounding back up into your arch. So continue flowing in that direction. The hips and head can feel free to join in that movement any way that feels natural to you. It can be a little bit of an awkward movement to find your way into, but take your time. We're looking for what feels good. How can we find a little bit more of a yummy experience in our bodies? And try changing direction. And what you may find after a few rotations through is that it feels maybe a little bit like a spiral. Spiraling through your body. And just have a little fun with that. There's no right or wrong way to do the movement. If it feels good to you, then you are most definitely doing it right. Let's just take that one more time around. And as you come back to center, find your long spine. And we'll come have a seat, bringing the blanket out from underneath your knees. And we'll make that into a little bit more of a fold. And then pull your blankets or bolster right beside you. So I'm sitting with my right hip against my pillows and knees and feet tucked back to the left. 
So these pillows are quite high right now, but when I lay down over them, they're gonna squish down a bit. So make sure that you have what feels like enough support in your body when we come into the posture. You can always add more pillows or another blanket here if you like. Okay, so bringing one hand on either side of your cushions, growing a little taller, gentle spiral to the right. And then we're just gonna lay down over our cushions, kind of squish them into all the right nooks and crannies here. And I'm lengthening my hips back, heart forward. Now you might fold the hands under the head so the forehead could rest straight down if that feels safer for your neck. Or turning the head to the left so your right cheek is resting here. You could also bring that left arm down to the floor. Leg positions. You might have more of this wide leg position, drawing that top leg slightly back. Or what might feel better uh, in the back is to stack the knees on top of each other with your blanket between them. So just noodle around there till it feels just right for you. Take a few cleansing breaths as you just allow the weight of your body to relax uh, all the way down into your cushions and support. And just gradually feel this whole left side of your body rolling forward, relaxing forward. So we're not on our side, but we're um, just gently allowing the front of the belly and the chest to melt down into our cushions and support. Closing the eyes if you wish, softening the muscles around the eyes. <sighs> Relaxing through the jaw and softening the muscles of your throat. And just feel a gentle breath flowing into the back of the heart center between your shoulder blades. Relaxing all of the muscles of your belly. Feeling the muscles along the spine softening. Relaxing down through the hips and the legs. Hmm. Just give yourself a little space and time to be here. So these supported twists allow us to gently, lovingly wring out some of the deeper tensions the body, the muscles of the back, the digestive organs. And as we're letting go of that tension, it allows for something new to come in. So a fresh breath, renewed energy. As we find these deeper layers of rest, it allows for more nourishment to fill us, to fill our cells and tissues. Hmm. So feel both the letting go, the emptying with our breath, softly melting down into the cushions, down into the support of the ground. And also this allowing for something new to come in. This deeper nourishment, Renewed energy that takes the place of the feelings of depletion or fatigue. Hmm. A 
I'll just be here for a few moments more on this side. Now just slowly begin to make your transition up out of this position. Just gonna slide the blanket out from between the knees, placing the hands on the floor and just slowly rolling up to sitting. So moving mindfully through our transitions as we come to the other side. And again, having your blanket ready to place between the knees. Placing one hand on either side of your pillows. Take your time coming down into this new side. It might take a little bit of wiggling around till you find just the right fit. Squishing your pillows into all of your nooks and crannies. <laughs> Again, just allow ah, the full weight of your body to relax down into all of the support beneath you. So you don't need to exert any effort here. So restorative practices are also called the art of letting go. It's probably one of the most challenging things to do is Nothing at all. <laughs> Just allowing ourselves to be held and supported and to find these deeper, quieter moments of rest and receiving. Just receiving the breath, receiving the present moment just as it is. So as you scan gently down through your body, notice where you might be trying to hold yourself in this position. Or maybe there are just some areas where stress gets locked into. and just needs a gentle reminder that it's okay to let go now. To softening the neck. And shoulders. Heart center. Relaxing. Feel the belly softening and opening. Letting go the weight of the hips and the legs. Hmm. Making your room to breathe and room to be.
And so we're here for just a few more moments. Just notice if there's another little layer of letting go. It's willing to surrender. As you allow the ground, as you allow the cushions just to lovingly hold and carry you. Now again, just slowly, mindfully begin to make your way up out of the pose. And we'll transition back to all fours. And as you get there, and just take a few cat stretches again through the spine to just bring a little integration back to your whole body. And as you round through your back, and press the hips gently back to or towards the heels, just going as far as is comfortable for you. The hands can come to rest under the forehead. One more moment here in child's pose. And then slowly coming all the way back up to sitting. Mm. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. Namaste.